by a snake. It's possible that the snake can strike and you wouldn't even know that you've been beaten by a snake until you start to feel the effects. That's what happened in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve are having a conversation with the snake. Before you know it, they are disputing, questioning, and doubting the word of God. Anybody who doubts the word of God has been beaten by Satan. Or you've been beaten by the snake. But the snake in the Garden of Eden had a different type of venom. The venom was sin. When Satan deceived Adam and Eve, they began to mistrust and to doubt the words of Jesus Christ. Because it was Jesus who used to come down in the cool of the day and have a conversation with Adam and Eve. Jesus Christ was already in existence before the world was created. Jesus Christ is from eternity to eternity. So Adam and Eve fall for this for the lies of Satan. They rebel against the love of God. The relationship crumbles. Sin comes into the world by Adam and Eve. And all of us, we are descendants of Adam and Eve. It doesn't matter who you are. You could trace your genealogy back to Adam and Eve. The Adam and Eve who were beaten by that snake there in the Garden of Eden. The Adam and Eve who decided to rebel against the love of God. You could trust your genealogy back to Adam and Eve. Or you can trust your lineage back to Adam and Eve. reason why you question the word of God? I'll tell you why. It's because when the snake beat Adam and Eve, you were in Adam and Eve at that time. That's the reason why you doubt the word of God. The reason why you question the word of God is because you descend from Adam and Eve. The reason why you question the words of Jesus Christ is because you were in Adam and Eve when, when they were being deceived. So unconsciously, you were also deceived. By the time we were born, or we were born already deceived. Because Adam and Eve, they are the parents of the entire universe. Whatever happens to the parents, will happen to the children. And Abdul will give birth to an Abdul. A Smith is going to give birth to a Smith. A Jackson will give birth to a Jackson. And so an Adam will give birth to an Adam. A deceived man is going to give birth to deceived children. A man who's been beaten by a serpent is going to give birth to children who are affected by the same man. That's how it works. Never mind you have an English surname, your real surname is Adam because you descend from Adam. Adam is the father of the entire human race. Never mind you've got an Asian surname. Your real surname is Adam. 
because Adam is the father of the entire human race. So whatever happened to Adam happened to you. The deception that Adam fell for, you were also in Adam. You were also in Adam. So we are all partakers of the sinful nature of Adam. We are all partakers of the deceived nature of Adam. We are all partakers of the corrupted nature of Adam. Otherwise the humanity that God made had no corruption in it. When God made us initially, we were perfect. Sinless perfection when God made us. Because He made us in His image. But sin came and destroyed and messed up everything. But here's the thing. Because God loves us so much. You know what He did? He made a plan of redemption. He had already made a plan of redemption. And He was already speaking. He was already pointing to the Messiah. The day that Adam and Eve sinned against God, their conscience began to accuse them. Just like how your conscience accused you. Just like how your conscience accused you. You see all the drinking and all the drugs and all the partying, all the entertainment and hobbies, and all the things that we do. We do those things to try and stifle the conscience, to try and quieten the conscience. Because you see, your conscience, given a chance, will tell you when you're not right with God. You don't need anybody to do that. Your conscience will let you know that, look, you're not right with God. Get right with God. Your conscience will tell you that. This is the reason why this is the reason why people do all these things. So when Adam and Eve fell, their conscience began to accuse them. They began to feel condemned in their own self. They began to feel accused. you're thinking straight your conscience is always in the business of telling you get right with God your conscience never stops it's always telling you get right with God the conscience never stops to let you know you need to get right with God you need to get right with God will tell you that listen if you were to die in this state if you were to die without Christ you're condemning yourself to hell the conscience tells you that so when Adam and Eve sinned against God they began to feel that condemnation they began to feel that guilt. They began to feel guilt. Just like how we feel guilt. Just like how your conscience is accusing and condemns you. You know what God did? He killed an animal to 
clothe the nakedness of Adam and Eve. God is already telling you about the shedding of the blood of Jesus. By the killing of an animal to clothe Adam and Eve. God is already letting you know that only the blood of Jesus Christ can cover your sin. God is already letting you know that only the blood of Jesus Christ can cover sin. Nothing else can take away that good conscience except the blood of Jesus. Nothing can take away that condemnation, that guilt of sin except the blood of Jesus. the blood of Jesus Christ that will remove the guilt of sin. Only the blood of Jesus that will wash away sin. Only the blood of Jesus that will make a person right with God. Religion will make you right with God. Good works will make you right with God. The only thing that will make you right with God is the blood of the Lamb, is the blood of Jesus. When you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who came to die for you on that cross, who came to die for your sins. When you believe that, God will forgive you and you will be made a child of God by adoption, by being born again. When you believe that, God raised Jesus from the dead. The relationship that died in the Garden of Eden between you and God, God will put that relationship back to life. He will bring it back to life. Because you see, what went wrong in the Garden of Eden was a trust issue. The reason why the relationship between God and man died is because of trust. Because nobody will ever be in a relationship with a person who doesn't trust them. So in order for you to be made right with God, you have to believe. You have to believe in Jesus. You have to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who came to die for your sins. You have to believe that Jesus Christ was risen from the dead by the glory of the Father. You have to believe in that. You have to believe it. How are you? Eve. 
it was Adam and Eve who doubted the word of God. It was Adam and Eve who began to question the words of Jesus Christ. And because we were born of Adam and Eve, we inherited those doubts. So when the relationship between God and man died in the Garden of Eden, it died on the basis of trust. No trust issues. In order for this relationship to reconcile, we have to address the trust issues. How do you address the trust issues? If you believe that Jesus is the Son of God who came to die for your sins. If you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who came to shed his blood on the cross for your sins, if you can believe that, you are made a child of God. If you believe that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, if you can believe that, then God can raise that relationship back to life. Otherwise, you're going to be back to square one. Doubting the word of God. Imagine that. The reason why we have wars in the world today is because Adam and Eve doubted the word of God. The reason why we have hatred today in the world is because Adam and Eve doubted the word of God. The reason why families are breaking down and disintegrating today is because Adam and Eve doubted the word of God. The reason why we have diseases and sicknesses and illness, pandemics and earthquakes and all that is because Adam and Eve doubted the word of God. The reason why the world is in a mess today is because Adam and Eve doubted the word of God. And the only way that this world can be put right is when we believe the words of Jesus Christ. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that God raised Jesus from the dead, will be raised from the spiritual death that you died in the Garden of Eden in Adam and Eve. If you can believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who came to die for your sins, you can become a child of God. And you know what's happening right now? You really need to have God on your side as your father. Bye-bye. God bless you. <laughs> you really need to have God on your, on your side as your father. Religion won't cut a lot of eyes with this what's going on here. Religious is not powerful. Religion is not powerful enough to defend, to, do, to, to defeat pandemic. Only the Son of God can defeat the mess that we have in the world today. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I speak the blood of Jesus into the lives of the people of Odo for mass evangelism. The voice of the blood of Jesus, that every person in order should come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. I speak the blood of Jesus into the very foundations of the town of Oldham. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ into the atmosphere above Oldham. And I pull principality and powers, I pull down principalities and powers down struggles. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ into every household in order. For 
the peace of God to reign in every house in order. I speak the blood of Jesus because the blood of Jesus is powerful enough. Yes, the blood of Jesus is powerful enough. The blood of Jesus is more than capable because Jesus died and rose again. Did you hear me? I said Jesus died and rose again. Jesus died and rose again. The man is risen from the dead. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. Presenting his blood on your behalf. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ and I call on the blood of Jesus on behalf of every Christian Lord. I call on the blood of Jesus because the blood of Jesus Christ is the blood of the Son of God. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ for the blessing of God to rest upon the families of Egypt. All this power in the blood of Jesus there's healing in the blood of Jesus. Salvation is found in the blood of Jesus. I speak the blood of Jesus. I saturate the atmosphere in order with the blood of the Lamb of God. I saturate the atmosphere in order with the blood of Jesus. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ to the gates of Odom. Not the physical gates and the spiritual gates. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. 